Today we're going to be showing you how to do some experiments with eggs. And so we've got Tammy from Housing a Forest. And Nathan from Minnesota Cold. And we're ready to do some egg experiments. We're going to start by showing you how to make the perfect hard boiled egg. So you start by layering a single layer of eggs in the bottom of your pan and then filling it with an inch of water above your egg. You're going to bring your water to a rolling boil, turn off your stove, cover your pot and let it sit for 15 minutes. Now bring them to the sink and cool them off with cold water. We're going to show you now how to make a golden egg and a silver egg. So you're going to take a pair of tights and take one of the legs and then just drop it in the, the tights and you're going to spin it several times. The way to tell if the insides are scrambled is to hold a flashlight behind them and if it's yellow it's not ready, if it's red it is ready. So this one right here is ready to be boiled. Bring it to a boil just like we did the others. So when you crack it, it should be golden. For the silver egg we're going to light a candle, then take the tongs and completely burn the outside of the egg. So after the outside of the egg has been burned, you're going to take a jar of water and drop it in. Now you've got your silver egg. If you get your hard boiled eggs and your raw eggs mixed up, we're going to show you how to tell them apart. If it's hard boiled, it'll keep on spinning. If it's raw, it'll flop over. The next way, if you spin it on its side, it'll eventually stand up. And the raw one won't. <laughs> Look. The last way is if you spin a raw egg and you try to stop, it, it will keep going. But if you spin a hard boiled egg and you touch it, it will stop. <laughs> we're going to make some volcano eggs. And to do that, we're going to add some baking soda to each of these dishes. Then we'll put some water in that to turn it into a paste. You're going to want to keep mixing it until you have the consistency of toothpaste. And last we are going to add some food coloring to add, give it a little bit of color. Now you're going to take a paintbrush and take some of the paste and put a very thick coat of the paste on each of the on each of the eggs. Oops, this one's a thick one. Looks like I'm wash my It's clumped up though. Now we're going to take some vinegar, fill up these jars with vinegar, and then drop the baking soda covered eggs into the vinegar and see what happens. Whoa! Three, 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 two, two one! Whoa! <laughs> and if you want a really big effect for your last one, take a, the two jars, put a pie pan on top, Put the tubes directly above and then place the egg on top. One, One two, three. I'm going to show you the easiest way to peel a hard boiled egg is to take a glass, take an egg, put a little bit of water in there, put the egg inside, and then shake it around.
And if you want to make it even easier than that, you can peel an egg in a mason jar. For this one, we are going to light a piece of paper, throw it in the bottle, and then put a hard-boiled egg on top to see what happens. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> And for this one, they wanted to see what would happen if we put an egg in the microwave. So let's give it a try. Oh my goodness.